because I'm the young of uh, wars for the last 30, 35 or 40 years. I am the generation who brought this trauma with me throughout my life. I'm fortunate here to stand in front of you to present Afghanistan, the picture of Afghanistan and how we engage with Afghanistan. But you know, there have been thousands and thousands of youngsters with a lot of energy, vision and mission. But this, these fight have stolen these who from out of their, their life. So what we have to do is that if there is war, you lose your hopes. If there is war, you lose your sight. You do not know how to do. Well, I've lived through one war in my country that was uh, the Tanzania-Uganda war in 1979. Uh, it was devastating, it was unfortunate. I was young, uh, but I could tell how unsettling it was. So yes, wars are not things to really pray for. They should be avoided at all costs. People that were killed or kidnapped, uh, personally, friends of mine, you know, people that I know really personally, and uh, it's very hard. They have families, they have children, you know, it's, uh, it's a terrible situation. And, um, you know, beside that, there is also an economic, uh, economic problem uh, with war. So, you know, the best way is to avoid it, to avoid it, to do whatever you can in order to uh, avoid war and solve um, conflicts and issues by other measures. Basically, every single continent in today's, uh, in, in, in this world, has got problems, has got challenges with wars. Uh, but that's because people have, are trying to force their beliefs on others. If we go back to the importance of dialogue, the importance of talking to each other, the importance of understanding each other, with chi which China advises and espouses, then the world will be a much better place. You have to have countries that make commitments to seeking some kind of middle ground. They both have to be willing to compromise. They both have to be willing to take concrete actions, not just talk, that really show that they're, that they're wanting to have a stable and productive relationship. Not just mere stability, but also productivity. You have to be able to make changes that allow for the two countries to solve certain major problems. We've got big issues with climate, big issues with public health, big issues with global finance, big issues with all of these hotspots. I've experienced conflict. Uh, it, is, it is and can be devastating for civilian population. And there are ways that we've agreed to, to minimize the risk, to minimize the damage to civilian population, civilian infrastructure. The laws are there. It's essential that they're followed.